church did not understand what devil knew behind holiness and righteousness and i want to say that there is something devil know about being born again more than the way church understand it and that is why satan launched all his attacks all his weapon against holiness and righteousness among christians holiness message and the righteousness message is the highest enemy of satan in the church that is what satan normally fight and kick against but the church did not understand what devil knew behind holiness and righteousness and that is why satan launched all his attacks all his weapon against holiness and righteousness among christians please subscribe to my youtube channel and follow me on my facebook page join me in. let us share this word of god together by forwarding it to as many as you can in your contact like it and comment on this message and god bless you hallelujah why satan launched all his attacks in two areas in the church if we can discover these days satan is no more bothered about church having money devil is no longer is no longer bothering about church having the largest congregation satan is no more bothering about christians having material things occupying the highest position in life there are two areas that devil launched all his attacks in the church among christians and number one area is holiness the area of holiness is something that devil hate beyond measure bringing that hatred in the life of many people to hate holiness message and the righteousness message the way he is satan hate it because holiness and righteousness they are the nature of god they are the nature of god and remember that all that the lord desire from the church all that the lord desire from every child of god is to be like his son jesus christ all that the lord desire from every child of god is not to be that so wealthy in as much as god wants us to be wealthy but to be like his son jesus christ so holiness message and the righteousness message are the message this end time Satan don't like at all. Many preachers of gospel are saying that this holiness message and righteousness message is no longer selling. I'm talking about people cherishing it, people loving it. I'm talking about the message that you will preach and at the end people will sow a huge amount of seed. I'm talking about the message that you will preach and whenever people hear it, they'll begin to come. Many people begin to troop. People that have problems, people that have needs begin to troop. Because they discover that it's no longer selling. Many begin to find the message that sells. Talking about the message of favor. Talking about the message of blessing. Talking about the message of prosperity. Talking about the message of having faith in God in order to have material needs. Number one, what is holiness? And why do the devil launch his attack? on that area bible makes us to understand that without holiness and peace no eyes shall see the lord as i said in one of my video that devil is no much interested in things that have no eternal value satan is a is a spirit satan is a master of eternity devil needs something that have eternal value satan no cherish satan is not cherishing the things we human beings are cherishing something like money something like material things don't forget that money is simply a piece of paper with a photograph of dead people so they will know that this one called money has no eternal value that is why satan can prefer if a child of god will have money in abundance if a child of god will have material things in abundance if a child of god will have wealth if a child of God is so connected in abundance, but as long as that child of God, as long as that person remained a sinner, 
as long as holiness and righteousness is not in the life of that child of God, Satan is relaxed because the devil can exercise patience for many years, knowing that this particular individual will be with him in torment forever after his life on earth. So that individual can live like 80 years, the man or woman can live like 100 years, 200 years in the world, 150 years in the world. Satan can still exercise patience because you know that one day, very soon, those years on earth will expire and the man and the woman will close his or her eyes in death unto eternity in hellfire with him. So now we must return back to holiness. We must return back to righteousness. Holiness and righteousness is disappearing in the body of Christ these days. That is why I don't think there is any church at all. Somebody can, during the offering time, the person wants to go and give offering. He or she may say, okay, let me leave my Android phone. Let me leave my handset on the chair. Let me leave uh, my money on the chair and go and give offering and come back. In as much as a gathering of children of God, you discover that that person will not meet his money or meet his bag or meet his handset on that chair when he or she returns back because holiness and righteousness have is trying to run away from the church satan is launching all his attacks against the area of holiness and righteousness and in many a times church is celebrating things that have no eternal value things that 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 doesn't matter sometimes mid church is celebrating Things like miracle, things like favor, things like a uh, science and wonder, things like a uh, blind receiving his or her sight, things like a uh, cripple walking again, dumb speaking again, deaf hearing again. This has become the tactics and the, the strategy set and launched into the body of Christ. In as much as we know that Lord wants us to live a healthy and a wealthy and glorious and prosperous life. We must understand that among three things, there is one thing that matters most. Even in the earthly system, the two people can never come at first. No matter how brilliant two of them are, they are, two of them will never be first at the same time. There must be one that we classify and categorize based on his or her performance in that particular field to be to become the first. So in the kingdom of God, in as much as favor, in as much as miracle, in as much as science and wonder, in as much as healing, in as much as all these things are very good to us, we must understand there is something that is categorized above one another. That thing that is categorized above all these things are holiness and righteousness. The Bible makes us to understand that the Lord is holy. The Lord said to children of Israel, Thou shalt be holy because I, the Lord, is holy. So holiness and righteousness is something that Satan wants to kick out of the church completely. Devil want to kick it out of the church completely. And sometimes the, the preachers that want to present this message of holiness and righteousness, somehow Satan along the way distract them. Somehow Satan along the way make them to present the wrong thing in the name of holiness and the wrong thing in the name of righteousness. Wrong thing like the message of saying that women don't supposed to wear trousers, women don't supposed to wear jewelry. Nobody permitted to wear uh, to wear bangles and wear necklaces and wear jewelry and wear rings. And no, women are not permitted to put on weave on. Women are not permitted to put attachment. They are not permitted to dress their hair. So this one is mispresentation of holiness, and they tag it as a holiness message, which is very wrong, which is completely wrong. That is not holiness. There are some churches today, they still believe that you don't supposed to eat crayfish, you don't supposed to cook on Sunday, you don't supposed to do this, you don't supposed to do that. There are many things. Devil is the one that brought all these things to the body of Christ because he don't want anybody to make heaven. Don't forget that heaven is a place that Bible makes us to understand it was built with gold. Everything in heaven, everything in heaven is built with gold. Our mansion over there, all of them are built with gold. All the decoration, even the road, the Bible makes us to understand is a golden street. It's a golden road, golden street. So everything in heaven is gold. And devil discovering and knowing how heaven looks like. 
Satan, knowing what Jesus, what God prepared for us over there, the only thing Satan wants to do is to find out what is that requirement that will take any man or any woman to heaven. What is that requirement that will take any man or any woman to eternity? And when Satan finds out that what Bible required as something that will take any man to heaven, to eternity, is righteousness and holiness, he now launched all his attack against that righteousness towards that area of holiness devil don't like it at all you can go to marketplace this day and begin to teach them seven laws of making money everybody will pay attention you can gather anybody you can go to anywhere even on the road roadside even at the bus stop just tell them seven laws of making wealth seven laws of attracting money seven laws of attracting wealth principle of wealth uh, all of them even people that are passing they will wait even people that are going somewhere they will stop by people that are going somewhere will stop by just to hear the laws of wealth what they will do that will make them to attract money what they will do that will make them to end up millionaires and billionaires they will wait but go to the same people tell them about the requirement what god love just mention holiness just mention righteousness everybody is offended satan is the one that will provoke them you will see the anger of people immediately they hear the message of holiness immediately they hear the message of righteousness immediately people hear the message of holiness and righteousness their anger rise their anger rise immediately they hear that gospel immediately they hear the lord say you will repent and be born again they are provoked if you are a child of God watching this video right now, God is expecting you forward this message, forward it to many people, forward it to all your contact, so that everybody can hear this message. Let's join hands together to save lives. So this area of holiness and righteousness, that church you are going right now, if we look at it very well, how many people do you trust in the church? Because if holiness and righteousness return back to the body of Christ, return back to the church, you can trust your brother, you can trust your sister. You can trust your brother. Even in the church, people did not trust one another. That is to tell, to tell us how decay the thing has become, how miserable devil want to make church, how miserable. That particular thing that matters most is what devil want to take out of the church. Just want to leave us with, a, with, a, with entertainment. As I said in one of my videos, that the calling of God is not for entertainment. I say in a lot of my video, what is the meaning of doing well in ministry? So if you never watch these two videos, look for them, look for all these videos in YouTube and in Facebook. You will see them there. The calling of God is not for entertainment because Satan wants to reduce church to a cinema hall. He wants to reduce church to just an entertainment place. He wants to reduce church to a place that people just come and the fee is for a while. Whereas there is a sorrow coming to everyone. There is sorrow coming upon the world. God wants us to run away from that sorrow that is coming upon the world. But Satan wants us to be occupied with the things of this life. Devil want us to be occupied with the things of this life. I, am I saying that you will not be blessed? You will be blessed. Am I saying that you will not be favored? The Lord will surround you with favor. Am I saying that your problem will continue? God forbid. But what am I saying? I am talking about you living a life knowing that there is a place to go after here. There is a place that God prepared for us after here. That is to live a life and prepare a life of eternity. That is a man living a life for the glory of God. That is a man living a life for eternity knowing there is a place God has for us. So we all must understand this. That the holiness and righteousness is not something that Satan can withstand. That is why Satan is fighting it. You may not be able to understand that the secret behind all the powers of devil that are operating these days, the secret behind all the many prayer many prayer points people are praying right now power that holding my favor power that is holding me power that don't want me to move forward or you die power that is holding me die any man or woman that I will not prosper die bring all these prayer points together you will discover that holiness 
and righteousness solve all of them. But devil knew, devil understand that when a man is righteous, devil understand that when a man is holy, devil understand that when a man is born again, he have access to God, and he devil have no power towards that man. He devil have no power in the life of that man, in the life of that lady, in the life of that woman. Satan knew that when a man is surrender his life to Jesus, automatically the man, the woman become a master over devil and the devil don't want anybody to be free from his slavery satan don't want anybody to be free from bondage devil don't want anybody to be free from prison yard devil want to be the one controlling your destiny through sin satan wants to remain the master controlling your life through iniquity satan still wants to be a master over your soul so that he can decide how your destiny will look like he can you can wake up in the morning satan will just decide to give you diabetes he will just give you diabetes where anytime he likes to give you sickle cell he will just give you sickle cell anytime he likes to like to give you a terrible disease he have access to do so devil knew that when a man become born again automatically christ take over the life of that man that that man's destiny will be controlled by god from that day i want you to understand that anyone that is not born again the destiny of every sinner is in the hand of satan not in the hand of god satan is the one responsible satan is the one in charge satan is the one in charge of the destiny of every sinner every man every woman that is not born again that is not yet a child of god he or she may be still going to church. He or she can still be a preacher. He or she can be a minister. He or she can be a man of God. He can be a woman of God. But as long as he is living in sin, he or she is living in sin, Satan is okay. Satan is okay with that individual. Satan's desire is not to stop people from answering prophets or from prophesying or seeing vision. Satan can allow God to use you to prophesy. Satan can allow God to use you to see vision. Satan can allow God to use you to heal others. Satan can allow God to use you to preach salvation to others. Others you are preaching to will be saved and will go to heaven. We make eternity at the end. But to you that is preaching it, Satan would not want you to go to heaven. That is why he can give you one particular sin you'll be committing as long as you are living in sin satan is satisfied with you so we must understand that righteousness and holiness is the key of christianity remove righteousness remove holiness in the church the church is dead remove righteousness from the church remove holiness from the church the church is completely dead it's like when people gather in that particular place every service, maybe on every Sunday service or every weekly activities, when God looked down from heaven, God will just be seeing mortuary with people packed inside the mortuary because it's a dead church. It's a dead church. When there is no righteousness and holiness in the church, anytime they gather, God will look down from heaven. God is only seeing mortuary and the people living inside that mortuary. So we must understand that holiness and righteousness pays. I pray for you today that you receive the grace to be born again. If you are hearing this word of God, you are not yet born again. This is an opportunity for you to surrender your life to Jesus. This is an opportunity for you to give your life to Jesus and allow Jesus to control your life. Allow Jesus to help you. Allow Jesus to save your life. The Lord bless you as you do so. May the peace of God and the God of peace be with you. See you next time. And bye. For now.